I think, yeah, there's something a bit robotic about it and a bit weird. Um, and I think you're a bit weird for suggesting. <laughs> no, you can't just like go, and that's it, it's all, like that never happened. And we, we, we all wake up like tomorrow being like, oh, can't wait for the season. <laughs> just let Atalanta and Leipzig have yeah. a Champions League final, why not? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> hello and welcome to Football Trending. As always, I'm joined by Wayne Ferry and Kyle Picknell, but this week we are not joined by football. We never <laughs> thought we'd be in this situation. No. <laughs> there is no football happening until April at the very earliest, but that looks increasingly unlikely to happen. Mm. Um, we don't know when the football is coming back um, due to the coronavirus, but this season does have to be resolved somehow. I think you're being quite disrespectful to the Hungarian second division mm -hmm. here, Rubes. Mm -hmm. The A-League in Australia? The A-League. I think, I think the Russian and Turkish, the Turkish leagues. leagues. The, the Russian League is being broadcast on YouTube, on. actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And still no one wants to watch it. <laughs> even, <laughs> even with no football elsewhere to speak of, no one is tuning in for free to watch Artem Zuba <laughs> score headers. So if you do want your fix of football, um, the Russian League and the Turkish League is still going on, but... We support, we support Ruben Kazan there. <laughs> well, I do, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, in Turkey, you do get a lot of uh, Premier League... Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say legends. No. John Ibi Mikel. Martin Skirtle, Demba yeah. Bar, Gail Clichy. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Banter legends, I would Banter say. Banter legends. Yeah, that's, cult, that's cult Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, we need to resolve the Premier League season. Well, we don't, but they do. Yeah. And they need some help. So let's give them some suggestions. What are, what are the options to resolve this unfinished Premier League season, given the current circumstances? Well, I mean, the the one that... Let's just take it off the table first off, making the season null and void. Mm -hmm. I mean, legally speaking, I'm not sure um, clubs will particularly be keen to do that. Maybe the teams in the bottom of the... On the bottom of the, the in the bottom three. Well, I mean, some teams will and some teams won't, isn't it? That's yeah, the but at the same and time, and it's all in self-interest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I you know, would the yeah, if you were if you were on top of the league, would you want the season nulled and voided? No, absolutely not. And I think that every team would change their mind on it depending on where their league position is. But I just think that it it kind of does a dis. It's disrespectful to all of the football that we've watched, all of the players that mm. have scored goals. Um, yeah, I mean, if it was if it was voided, people wouldn't just forget that all these games yeah. and matches that yeah. happened, like, they'd still, they'd still be there. And right? a lot of um, people have sacrificed a lot to sort of, for, for the season, like the players yeah. who have put all of their training in, they've got yeah. injured and things like mm -hmm. that, the fans who have travelled thousands of miles yeah. to watch games, you can't pretend it never happened. Yeah, you, you no, shouldn't just take that away. No, you can't yeah. just like go, and that's it, it's over, like that mm -hmm. never happened, and we, we, we all wake up like tomorrow being like, oh, can't wait for the season when it starts. <laughs> but also, I mean, legally, what happens if the season is, is made void, then what happens with regards to do players get the bonuses for all the goals they scored but didn't actually score? Do you know, yeah. they scored them, but the record books don't show them. It opens you know, up a huge it's can of worms. A huge it? can of worms. And it's, I mean, that, so, yeah, that, that shouldn't happen. I mean, one of the options is to potentially just finish the season as things are now. I think that is an option, but it's the least preferable yeah. of a lot of not particularly preferable. Yeah. So you just take the current Premier League table and that's the Premier League table? Well, yeah. With, I mean, that is... Some teams have played one more game than others, right? Yeah, no, so I'm that's not... that's like the most obvious one. I know yeah, you're not advocating not it, advocating, but yeah, yeah. that's the most obvious problem with yeah. it. And certain teams would, for whatever reason, rather that be the case mm. than, than <laughs> yes. if they do something yes. else. You know, let's say, for example, if you're a team... I don't know, from, let's call them the, the East London Maroons, right? <laughs> if you were in the relegation zone quite recently and then you were suddenly out of it, mm. you probably wouldn't want, you probably would want the season to end now, just as it is. Probably, you know? hypothetically um, speaking. Hypothetically speaking. Um, Especially if you were the, the chairman or... Yeah, so pretend, like ending the season as things stand is an option. But I, think some, I think a lot of clubs would, would hate that because, you know, they would go down by the matter of, like, a, a one goal with a game in hand or mm. something really unjust like that. But I think the overwhelming majority of clubs would, who who don't go down, mm. would probably understand it because if, if it's a risk to public health to even attempt to finish the season by playing matches, mm. then it's then it's one of the possibilities because you do, because then next season does have to begin eventually. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But the, I mean, the problem is Aston Villa on 28 games. And to be relegated, I mean, we were due to play Chelsea uh, last Sunday, which, again, we probably would have lost, almost certainly would have lost, mm -hmm. but the fact is you don't know. So 
I'd be I'd be fuming yeah. if we got relegated. Yeah. But then I kind of wouldn't understand it, you know? If you take a step back, you'd understand it, but like it would feel... We, we, we like, deserve to go down this yeah. season, but if we can stay up on a technicality, then... But then so do West Ham and Norwich. Yeah, this is true, yeah. There are about... Relegate them all. There are about five teams that deserve <laughs> yeah. to yeah. this yeah. season, you know? So maybe that is the... Uh, maybe that's the... the um, the solution is just relegate a fucking ton of teams. But, yeah, I find it... The reason I find this kind of... I'm uncomfortable with relegating teams in the positions that they're in now is that even Norwich, with, you know, some teams having nine games left to play, some having ten, they're six points from safety. But they've been playing quite well. And some people have said that they're possibly one of the best teams to be, you know, kind of marooned down there at that level. I mean, that's, that's a bit of a stupid thing yeah, to say. I don't, buy, I don't buy into it, but I, I understand why. They're, they're, not, that, yeah. they're not a crap team, necessarily. Do you know what I mean? They're just a bit blunt. Yeah. Um, it would be much easier if we had, like, a Derby County or a Sunderland from those terrible, mm. terrible seasons. Or, yeah. an Ast or even Aston Villa. In the thing with Norwich is that the style of play is what uh, makes people think that it would be more harsh to relegate them mm, than say yeah. like that that Sunderland team. But um, yeah, this is what I mean. If we had that's completely subjective. Like, why should they be given extra credit for trying to play? No, if you if you go down, you go down. Yeah. But the point is that they have they have quite a few games left if they if those games were played mm. and stranger things have happened. Yeah, they're not completely adrift. You know? They have beaten City this season. Yeah. So like, and it's not like they're, they're twelve points adrift. They're six points adrift. Like, so yeah. if if we had two teams that were completely like. Cut adrift, like Liverpool yeah. are at the top. Yes, and then you, if you could swap them for Leeds and West Brom in the Championship, then I think no one would really be able to complain. No. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah, it's tough for any team. So the other option is, of course, going back to when every team would play 27 matches, which was the last time, and that would move West Ham into the relegation zone. Mm -hmm. Aston Villa would move out of it. Um, so it'd be Watford, Norwich, Aston, uh, West, West Ham, Ham. sorry, uh, who'd be relegated. Which obviously opens up another can of worms where West Ham would be like, hold on, we're out of the relegation zone. Mm -hmm. mm. It's kind of... It's like going back in time. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that option creates a different element of fairness almost, but then it also creates this whole other uh, like aspect of unfairness because you're going back in time and pretending matches haven't happened. Yeah. Like, would that mean that Liverpool would be awarded the title and as like invincibles because that Watford mm. result suddenly doesn't count. Like we all saw it happen. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, technically that is kind of what probably, if, if we went back to 27 games, then that wouldn't be on the record. Mm. Um, I think that's probably the least important of, of those course, things. You know what yeah. I mean? But I can see what, yeah, I can see what yeah. you're talking about, of course. Um, Arsenal fans would be human. Um, yeah, and Liverpool would have like more points than than Manchester United's 98-99 team, despite having played 11 mm. games fewer or something mm. like that. But I think that, yeah, I mean, I could totally understand if, if a team was relegated because that went back to that point, that would be unfair. Um, this is all really unfair, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything, nothing about this is fair. Um, generally speaking, um, viruses aren't fair, yeah, you know? They, they don't discriminate. It's not thinking about, you know, you know, owners of football clubs. Well, it's mm. not sentient being, is no, it? No, 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 it's not. Well, as far as we know. Um, but, <laughs> but I, I'm, ju uh, I'm just glad Palace aren't down the bottom because I, I, I'd be tearing my hair out about like, like I don't know what the Villa, West Ham, not like Watford fan bases are, are thinking or even like advocating. Like, what do they want to happen? Yeah, I mean, it's just so, it's so up in the air. It's not even like, I'm not even worried about it. And in previous years when we got relegated before, I was, I was distraught for weeks. Mm. But now I think it's like if we got relegated now, it's like. Well, it's not the most important thing, you know. It's like yeah. a bit of perspective. Yeah. But I mean, it won't stop people like arguing about like strength of schedule up until this point, and all these kind of like tiny nuances. And mm -hmm. I mean, the good thing is that at least whenever season does does decide to end, or uh, whether that be in twenty seven games now, or it just gets delayed um, and it's settled some point in the future when everything's normal, then at least we have, you know, I mean. We have a clear winner, Liverpool, which mm -hmm. is the main, mm. which is the main thing. Yeah, for me, I think that's like, at least we do have that satisfying. We can all, we can say, look, this this year was theirs, this season was theirs. Yeah, and I think there's no dispute in that in any mm. way whatsoever. Like, there there is a precedent for this kind of in Chile last year, where violent protests in the city and there was an uprising led to the season ending six games before the end. Universidad Católica, I think they were called, 
We're 13 points clear on nice top of the league. Hmm? Nice pronunciation. Yeah, very much. Um, Muy bien. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they were 13 points clear with six games left. Um, no one was really catching them. Um, Liverpool's lead is even more more dominant and, and has been so dominant for the whole season. Um, so I think you'd have to be a real strange person to begrudge Liverpool. Pep Guardiola. Maybe, almost. yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, begrudge them getting the title that they really, really richly deserve. Um, I do think that perhaps, because this is the, at the bottom of the table, it is quite up in the air still, um, that maybe if you are, if they are trying to go for the fairest possible option, that perhaps you just delay relegation for the season. That yeah. is, that's a possibility, and also something that they did in Chile that season, where no one gets relegated, and then, you know, maybe Leeds, West Brom come up from their current positions. Um, you have twenty-two teams in the Premier League next season, and then for the next two seasons after that, you you relegate four teams. Um, Maybe that's the yeah. maybe that's the way to go. Or you relegate five teams in one go, which you would be a lot of fun. You'd like that. You'd, you'd like say, that. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, it, you know, who knows what happens? Justin has a palace. Well, who knows, <laughs> what, well, who knows what happens with Palace? We might lose a couple yeah, of players yeah. and go down. I, but I, I mean, think it'd be, it'd be exciting. It'd be exciting. There is a lot of dross in the Premier League. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? See, what, it, what what actually would be really nice is if there was some kind of playoff. If if the our oh, relegation like, playoffs. Yeah. Like, like the, the, like the like Dutch uh, Bundesliga do it as well. Yeah, Bundesliga do it. That's a good idea, yeah. That'd be that'd be really exciting. Yeah, and then maybe like, because I I think you would still struggle to get three teams up. I think it would still make the numbers a bit wavy if you brought three teams up. You know what I've just had? What? An epiphany. An epiphany. Mm -hmm. Instead of all these absolutely dismal pre-season Audi Cup tournaments and all this, you just stick. I will like... not hear bad words. <laughs> <anything>. <laughs> you just stick like Watford, West Ham, Norwich, Villa. Um, in like a round, in like in like yeah, in a, round uh, in a playoff to for mm -hmm. one team to stay up. Can we fly them somewhere where the coronavirus? Like, yeah, we fly them to like Siberia, Antarctica. Yeah, yeah. either one. Yeah, yeah. Either <laughs> <bowl>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, put some, lay some astro down. <laughs> yeah, and just yeah. Decide it then and there. Man well, I mean, if Instagram and, and trendy football Twitter accounts have shown us anything, is that Greenland has some lovely pictures. Yeah, well, so, yeah, yeah. There's that there's that picture in Norway that's just on its own little island, just yeah. taken there. And have a, you know a knockout tournament mm -hmm. to stay up. Let's do it. So the final option, I think, to resolve the Premier League season would be to take the season as it is and simulate the remaining games based on the reverse fixture results because everybody's played each other at least once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that would complete, in theory, the 38 game season for everybody. But it's going off previous form and previous circumstances. So again, not perfect, but. That feels a bit too robotic. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. I think I'd rather because that, then it just turns into like a, a football manager of FIFA mm -hmm. simula simulation, you know. And it's like which you are a big fan of, famously. Which I am. Mm -hmm. In addition to actual football yeah. matches the thing being that, the played, thing that those games are. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would also, it would send Villa down as well. Of course, Bournemouth yeah. would survive. Yeah, I think that as I think yeah, there's something a bit robotic about it and a bit weird. Um, and I think you're a bit weird for suggesting. <laughs> um, we won't get into how we. No, <laughs> no. But um, no, I think that yeah, I just think it's a bit. Like, look at Watford, for example. They Nigel Pearson deserves a huge amount of credit. Um, yeah. Um, for the way he's turned that team around, and to then go and kind of judge their, determine that the remainder of their season will be based on. The other previous twelve managers that they had, basically a different. Team. <laughs> yeah, no. I think it's just a little unfair. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, I mean, they're all unfair. I don't. I don't like that one. I was just throwing it out there. Yeah. So, which one do we think would actually be the most fair? I, I'm not just saying this is Aston Villa fan because I could choose the one where we don't go down. Mm -hmm. But I like, I like the one where no team gets relegated because that that's the one that has the most catastrophic consequences yeah. for for every club involved. Mm -hmm. and I think it's one that. You know, we saw with the Carlos Tevez, Javier Mascherano thing when uh, West Ham stayed up at the expense of Sheffield United. Like those things, they don't just go away easily. Like yeah. a club will feel like that an injustice has taken place mm -hmm. if that happens. Um, so yeah, I like I like the the one Wayne said using the Chilean example because there's a pre first of all there's a precedent for it, yeah. which, which means you can always argue, look, this happened before, it worked, we can do this feasibly, mm -hmm. and have all the teams that are in the league now 
Leeds and West Brom because there is a cushion between them and the playoff teams and the championship and then relegate four or if you want your mad five teams down <laughs> yeah, the season. Yeah. I, I mean, I quite like that one as well. Nobody gets like uh, a long, enduring, catastrophic, unfair relegation that they can no. have a chip on their shoulder about for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. It sort of gives everybody a little bit of a second chance, but rewards. It also means extra Premier League games yeah, next season. Yeah, is not a bad thing. The, the fixture calendar is congested enough, as it yeah. is. I mean, I'm not going to complain about more Premier League games. I think we could probably sack off, maybe just sack off the League Cup next season. Yeah, I mean, so now, I think now, that, for it. now that we fell short in the final, I think, yes, yeah. the time has come for the League Cup. Well, the, the, I think whole... there's, the, there's a distinct possibility. I'm not sure what the, what the good people at Carabao are going to think about this, <laughs> but um, I think that, yeah, with the season being so condensed anyway, next season, whenever that may be, there is, I mean, there's just not, there's very little enthusiasm for the League Cup as things stand. Uh, there is, but... There is, to an extent, but there's also a lot of dissenting voices, Yeah, you know? But I think, it, like... Say next season starts a bit later, and like this the whole situation has exposed like a massive flaw in the footballing schedule that there is just no room mm -hmm. to reschedule anything mm -hmm. basically. So I think we could probably lose the League Cup for one year only just yeah. to sort of readjust. I wouldn't complain about that. Yeah, I mean I think if it needed to happen, it needed to happen. You could, you could bring it back the next season. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Club World Cup myself. I no, but that is that, that, that is. Amazingly, the jewel in FIFA's crown. Yeah, like they consider that to be, mm. you know. I mean, it, it's usually just a cakewalk for the for the European yeah. team. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that that yeah. that relies on the Champions League being concluded and Europe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, which, The Champions League. I mean, what what, what on earth are we going to do about they, that they, as well? They want to they want to play the final at the end of June. Not that's, that, that's not happening. No official word on how they want to get teams there. Yeah, <laughs> decide who, decide who yeah. plays in the final. Like, obviously, we're halfway through the second round of uh, round of 16 games. So yeah. a lot of teams have only played one leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just let Atalanta and Leipzig have yeah. a Champions League final, why not? Yeah. Who that, cares? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it's only the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. And on that note, um, thanks for watching Football Trending. Tune in next week and remember, wash your hands.